Hi guys and happy Sunday. I hope you're having a very beautiful Sunday. We're having a very fun Sunday and I took you around with me. Uh, we tried to find another spirit so I could do um, some spirit filming properly, you know, <laughs> with the GoPro. I charged all the batteries last night and I was ready to go. But there were no, um, there were no spirits in our ventures today. We tried, but we went where we thought we, there was one, but it wasn't, there wasn't, it wasn't there this year. So anyway, we went to, well, first I went to the food store and I got some stuff because I was going to cook. I wanted to put some stuff in the crock pot for later. So I did Swedish meatballs over egg noodles. So I put the Swedish meatballs and everything in the crock pot this morning. And then we went out and we stopped in um, Big Lots. Oh, we went to Big Lots and Big Lots always has such great Halloween stuff. And I'll show you that right here. Every year, Big Lots makes me very, very happy. <laughs> and this year, I got this guy. He's huge. He's taking up half the table here. He's heavy duty, like a big clay chiminea kind of thing. Huge jack o' lantern. Right, you can't see him all here, but I think you can see his face a little bit, right? But he's huge, so I have a little bit of footage of him here so you can see him top to bottom.
he's going to go on my deck. They had him, they had um, a triple uh, decker pumpkin, they had um, a double decker pumpkin, and they had one smaller jack-o'-lantern. So he was my absolute favorite. Um, I put a battery candle in him. Probably, I don't know how much it shows here with the light behind him, but at night on the deck with a candle in him, he's going to be awesome. I could actually put a citronella candle in there or anything I want, but um, I got these battery candles, these nice battery candles, nice tall battery candles in the Dollar Tree, and I thought they would be perfect for him, so I put that in him. Got a couple of those um, to put, you know, to put away. When one burns out, I'll have another. So I was really excited about him. I'm really, really, remember there was a chiminea, pumpkin um, shaped chiminea at Wegmans last year and I went back to see if they had them. They didn't have them that year and they had them the previous year only. And I was so sad that I didn't buy one the previous year, but this makes me just as happy. This little guy is beautiful. He's huge. He's got to be, he's got to be easily two feet tall, maybe taller. But he's really nice and he weighs a ton. He's going to be beautiful on the deck. So that's what I got in big lots. Then we went to Michael's. Not impressed. They didn't have uh, very many Halloween things out. And what they had were, were nothing that, nothing great at all. And um, then we, we went all the way down to Belleville to go to the Halloween Superstore the State Fair Halloween Superstore, it's not open yet. I went inside and I said to them, when are you open Halloween? Um, and they said, the end of September. Now, if you remember the Halloween Superstore last year, for them to do all that work for one month, is it blows my mind. So I was kind of amazed by that. I, I even said, oh my God, what a waste, you know? Wow. So I was sad because I really, really wanted to take it in there and see what they had this year for the first time. But that's not till the end of September. So maybe, you know, when Raymond visits, uh, we'll be able to go there and uh, have some fun in that place. It's a great place. I don't think I've ever taken him there. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've never taken him there. So then we went to um, uh, the mall where we thought that there, that there was a Spirit Halloween because they said there was one in Clifton where there used to be a Models and, and we went in there, no Spirit Halloween, but they did have a Party City and you know Party City can be really, really fun at Halloween. Last year I took you in there too. Um, a different one and over there I found some great stuff and I took you there too so I'll show you oh Dr. Seuss bow tie thing one and thing two looks like they're just starting yeah you should get that only five bucks. Put it in the front. What is this, a piece of pizza? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Little Stevie. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh yeah, I have that actually. Well, look, how are you supposed to get them up there? <laughs> well, there's dust down there. Oh, oh, they're extras. Serial killer mask. Ooh, gas mask. Yeah. That was. Mm -hmm. That's a scary one. Oh, these are all from the purge. Oh, look at him. Huh. Chucky. Oh, yeah, they definitely just started. Oh, that trick or treat mask is great. Did you ever see him? He's so cute. When we go to, um, when we go to Spirit, you'll see him. He's like a little creepy, scarecrowy thing. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. That's creepy. And you go right from Halloween to Tiki time. Oh, here's the doggy costumes. This would drive me crazy. Oh my god. A little Rasta hat and dreadlocks for Vaji. Yeah, this is the cutest thing. Oh, the girls from The Shining. Beetlejuice decorating kit. <laughs> Sally. Oh yeah, they definitely just started because the one over there by uh by holes is much more. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Look at the gypsy scar. Oh, that's big. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, God. Oh, that's so nice. That witch hat's great. Oh, look at that. Did you see this one? Hmm. It's got the, you know. Yeah. They always have great hats, you know. That sinister just is Yeah, that is really great. <laughs> oh, look at the shoulder wings. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. Oh, it comes with the mask, too. Yeah.
How about a little Santa gnome? Mm -hmm. How about a beret? How about a tall Abraham Lincoln hat? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Those are like crazy too. You know, I could see club the club kids wearing these. It's definitely a club kid hat. That's cool. Oh, look at the um you know, Mad Hatter. <clears throat> yeah, that's cute. And the ringmaster's down there. Yeah, well, the whole wall is color coded. Oh, there's the pirate stuff over here. Look at the captain's jacket. Mm -hmm. Parrot. Sitting on the shoulder. That's a fancy pirate hat. I like that one. Yeah, that's a fancy pirate. Yeah. They sure have enough hats. Yeah. They have great hats here. Oh, look at the one up th the ones up there. Those steampunk hats up there. They don't have them down here. That's dumb, right? I wanna see that close up. I want to see that close up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, look at those wings. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Oh, wow. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. It's nice. That's the best one I've seen. Yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> Look. Mrs. Doubtfire. Doubtfire, yeah, that's good. She's a lot thinner than Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. So they didn't have, they looked like they were just starting to put their Halloween out also. Um, they had more than most places already, but nowhere near what they normally have. You know, they put all their animatronics out and everything. Um, that those weren't out yet. They still had a little section of, of Tiki Party. So, um, you know, they were kind of phasing out summer and bringing in Halloween. And, oh God, I, I, I just love the place. I got these um, creepy clown images. Remember, I bought these once before in there. I loved them. But they're just cardboard and I put them like inside the front door. And from the rain and everything, they get they get beat up. So, I got new ones and these are so great. These are the ones that are in there. Some really creepy clowns and a just, you know, like a sideshow, um, a sideshow sign, a couple of sideshow signs, a sideshow um, admit one ticket. I love them. These are great and there's 12 of them in there. They're beautiful. 
five bucks. Then I was looking at all the hats and I saw this hat way up on top. Now I should have filmed the getting down of this hat but I needed both of my hands because <laughs> they put it on the top shelf. There was none on the um, main shelves. So I found a magic cane, you know the magic wand sticks. They had a nice long one by the top hats and everything. And I, a light plastic one. I said it's long enough for me to reach. I'm going to go up there with this stick and I'm going to put it inside the hat so I'm going to pull them down. And I did, and they went all over the place, <laughs> but um, I got, I don't know, three or four of them fell down on me. So, um, but that was okay, because I could try them on and, and check them out and see which one I wanted. And this is the one I chose. This is an amazing hat. It's a seriously steampunk top hat. You know I love my top hats. And even Spirit Halloween didn't have one as cool as this this year. This even has an old, um, like... Um, what do you call it? Um, tube, transistor tube from a phonograph or an old TV right here. Oh my god, it's just so detailed and so cool. It's got the goggles and all these gadgets and things. It's just a, a great hat. So, had to have it. Didn't care that it was way up on the top shelf, out of reach. I, I got it. I got it. And, um, I was happy, very, very happy with this purchase. So we had a very, very fun day. And um, also, one of the Dollar Trees that we went to today where I found the battery candles, they also had CDs. And I found this one, Sever Your Ties, Safety in the Sea. Had a great cover. Didn't know what kind of music it was, but uh, there's a cover version of Don't Fear the Reaper on here. Blue Easter Cults Don't Fear the Reaper on here, so I had to have it. It's kind of, um, it's kind of a, it's, it's metal for sure. It's like a hardcore kind of, um, um, not really thrash metal, but similar. I guess it's kind of thrash metal, but oh my god, Don't Fear the Reaper. How cool. I love this. I was so excited. Not exactly something to play in the background of a vlog, but otherwise I would have played it. But um, I was excited about that. I'm really excited about these dollar CDs. I really am. Because the, uh, the, the India one, the chill in India one, is so great. I play it all day long at work, you know. Just so beautiful. And I was looking for nor m more um, new agey kind of stuff. But I found this. And don't fear the Reaper the cover version is on there. Very excited. So then we came home. It was gloomy all day. It was dull, drab, I, drizzling. It was just a nasty day, you know. Uh, I see the sun's coming out now, which is kind of nice, uh, after the entire day, right? But, um, so another crappy Sunday. Last Sunday, it torrentially downpoured. So by the time we came back, I could finish the um, crock pot recipe. I had to stir in the sour cream and cook the noodles. And it came out really, really good. A very simple recipe that I found and I said you know I'm gonna try I'm gonna try this on Sunday easy throw it in go out and do what we have to do come home it'll be done and it came out really really good So that was our day. More Halloween stuff. I was really excited and I love this gigantor pumpkin chimney thing. It is so heavy and beautiful. Really, really happy with this. They had this little, you would have seen it already in the, the video, um, this little skeleton in a, a coffin car and the music on that animatronic was so great. It was so carnival. It was just 
I, I loved it, you know, but uh, I was limiting myself to my very, very had to have, and that was him. And he wasn't that much, I mean, he was $40. He's an enormous outdoor chimenea. I mean, the ones at um, Wegmans, I think, were 89 So he's less than half the price, and he's absolutely beautiful. So I was really happy with this. Um, so we had a beautiful day, a very fun day. And after we ate, I sat and talked to my mother for a good hour and a half. We haven't had a really good, long conversation in a long time. And uh, it was just a good day, really nice day. So we're coming up on my last week at work, which is really strange for me. And uh, this week is going to be very strange. Uh, Kind of, I guess, a little melancholy, maybe. Going to miss a lot of people. It's going to be hard. Friday's going to be very hard. But, um, I'm happy. You know, I'm really happy overall. I'll be very happy to be out of there. I'll just miss the people. And they're only across town. So I can visit them whenever I want. So, that's it for me, guys. I hope you're having a magical, mystical, musical Sunday. I'm trying to get us into our holiday uh, yearly routine uh, where we hit all the stores and try and find all the great Halloween stuff. Um, I'm going to really delve into where there's a good flagship uh, Spirit Halloween, and I'll take you there and do a real in-depth uh, walk around, not just uh, the speed through that we did yesterday. Because um, I have to have the GoPro for that, because the other cameras are just too shaky. GoPro has such good stabilization that I, I could run through the store and it would be perfectly fine. So um, that's, that's the camera I like to use in the stores and when I'm on the go. So I, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoy all the Halloween stuff as much as I do. I'm really excited about him. Comment, subscribe, spread that love. Tink merch below, Radio Tink podcast link below. And until next time, remember, I love you all.